Hey. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Today we discuss excruciating dental pain in the form of a molar abscess that will make you want to legitimately end your own life while eating a very simple a pasta pomodoro because it's something that we can have that we can basically barely chew and slurp and swallow without really chewing. All right. All right, yo, what up? What's good with y'all? Had to take a little break due to the fact that my molar <laughs> almost took me out. To say it was excruciating is to, to understand. <laughs> um, I'm sure some or many of you can probably relate, but uh, over this plate of pasta, I'll, uh, I'll share with you my experience. And this is a first time, like, super intense dental situation that I've ever had. So I guess I'm lucky in that regard up to this point, but I tell you what, it was crazy. However, uh, the, the, the hiatus might not have seemed as long because my last video was something like five days ago, but I was lucky enough to, at the time I had three or four videos in the tank like I had to, to roll out even though behind the scenes I was like in bed just like <laughs> basically dying um, okay let's get into a bite of this this pasta like I said simple pomodoro just and what what that means for, for you know just a simple red sauce like nothing crazy it's literally just um, like San Marzano tomato sauce I just put a little garlic uh, in it just like sauteed out some garlic and then uh, pinch of salt, and then we got the Parmesan cheese. I also come equipped with two extremely lightly toasted pieces of bread to make a little spaghetti sandwich. And you guys know I'm already probably gonna hit it with a little sa sa sour cream because I'm weird like that. But anyways, a bite of something that I can actually kind of eat because we're not fully out of the woods yet, per se. But uh, there's still some, you know, it's still tender. There's still some pain, but compared to what it was, this pain is like level two. It's, you know, very bearable at this point. Okay, a lot of talking. This video is going to have a lot of talking. And let me tell you, food is extra good right now because for the days that I was out, which was like about a week, I could barely eat. Just on the first few days, just nothing. Just took, took my fasting to a whole new <laughs> level just because I couldn't do anything. But uh, by the third or fourth day, fourth day of the true pain, I was able to just have soup and like sog out some crackers and just kind of eat soggy crackers. But that's all I've eaten was like a can of, a couple cans of soup, a couple crackers uh, type stuff. So, so there's that. I definitely lost a few more, well, not maybe like a couple more pounds, yeah, over the last, I don't know, week, 10 days, seven to 10 days. So basically I've had this one bothersome molar. You know how your molar has like quadrants? In the one quadrant of the molar, I just had like a, like a decaying cavity for quite some time. I knew eventually it, it would probably cause me some issue. But you know, I just kept living with it. And uh, I 
I was at my sister's Thursday two weeks ago. We were watching your mom's house podcast live stream. And I just brought over a little bag of beef jerky uh, and and uh, a little bag of chips just for sort of like a, a well, it was, it was technically my dinner. But, uh, you know, a snack slash, you know, dinner really. And uh, I just got a bad bite on a piece of beef jerky on that side. I just, and it just it was immediately just like, just the, <laughs> like that type of pain. Just shot right down into the nerve. And so I was like, oh man. So I went home early that night because it was bothering me because I was, I was like, I got to go buy Advil. I got to go home. I got to like just chill out and pop some Advil. So go home, pop Advil. And then for the next day or two, Slowly but surely, it continued to, to bother me worse. Had a family dinner on Sunday. It was starting to, to swell. You could start to tell, like if you were looking at me as a person, you could start to tell that something was happening in there. And uh, I was in so much pain and I was going out to my uh, to a family dinner. And I was just like, I almost didn't go. And I was like, nah, I gotta go. So I go. I like could barely, I was like pretending that I could chew properly. It's because I didn't want to like stir anything up immediately. And then by the next day, Monday, it was just full blown. Just swollen, like, I don't know, half golf ball, maybe three quarters golf ball. <laughs> in the cheek and just the most excruciating constant like feel your heart beat in your face type pain and uh i was like damn i gotta figure something out with this i'm definitely gonna have to go to the go to the doctor or go to walk-in clinic and then probably you know get a dentist appointment So I made a plan. I was like, okay, Tuesday morning, as soon as it opens, I'm just going to rush over there. That's really close to my house. Get logged in so that, you know, I can get an appointment for sometime later in the day. Because, you know, you get almost like waitlisted. So go there, sign in, get my name, my appointment's in a few hours. I go get like this three times benzocaine or a gel and go home and like just try to freeze it myself. Uh, ice water and things just to freeze it out. Just cold compress to the face, just waiting for my appointment, just like dying the whole time. Go to the appointment. There was like two people ahead of me when I arrived. And every single minute I was waiting to get in to, to the, to the doctor, it feels like, it felt like every minute was a half hour. Like, it's just, just like, oh my God, I couldn't sit down. I had, I had to like pace. So he puts me on antibiotics, amoxicillin and, uh, for a week, seven days. Started taking that. He gave me these pain pills, like basically T3s, Tylenol 3s. Weren't doing anything for me. So basically just dying for the next three days. On the fourth day of the antibiotics, the, the hard swelling that it, it, it's a protection mechanism to hold in the pocket that's infected, like the blister that the abscess is, it like protects it so that it doesn't spread anywhere else in your body. Bodies are pretty incredible that way. 
But once that started to go down and it exposed the soft pocket, the blister, and I could like start like feeling that it was soft on my tongue, I was like, you know, the pain was still, con like it was still pretty constant, but it started to dissipate because that pressure was being released. And uh, in my head, I was like, okay, well now that that's exposed, I'm hoping that I'm praying it'll kind of just start to drain or, or go on its own. I was able to fall asleep for a few hours. I wake up and I woke up with the drainage in my mouth. Sorry, kind of nasty for the video, but it is what it is. Um, so I went, I just rinsed. I did like salt water rinse, baking soda rinse. And then from there, it was just still just much more, much more relief, but still pain, pain for like the days. <clears throat> and in that time I made a uh, appointment with the dentist. I thought for sure going to the dentist, I was going to have to go either just get it pulled or need like an emergency emergency root, can root canal or something like that. Like I thought it was like, just because of the pain, I thought it was really bad. But there's a silver lining in the story is that uh, at the dentist, he basically was like, after the x-ray, he's like, honestly, the root, you're like your, your jaw bone, the root, the rest of your tooth, all like looks good. Um, the, the tooth is completely savable, totally fine. Um, there might be an, even an easier fix than just the, than a root canal. He's like, we might be able to just clean it out and cap it with like filler. But he's like, I do want to refer you over to this other doctor who will assess whether or not a root canal is needed. And then we can like move, move forward from there, do like a, like a, a whole cleaning and then d deal with that. But like, and when I was talking to the, to the dentist, I was saying like how painful it was. He's like, yeah, apparently like he told me in his dentist or his doctor knowingness of pain levels, he's like abscesses, like in things in the mouth, gall stones or gall, like gall stones, gallbladder stones, shit, something like that. And some other thing he's like, are like the three most painful things you can experience in life. And I was like, no shit. I did not know it was this level. I had no idea. So I'm sure many of you have experienced likely probably similar things and you'll know what I'm talking about, but for me, it's just, this is just a first. So basically I'm waiting to get seen by this next guy to assess what's going to happen. But, uh, you know, just a stressful, really highly stressful, I don't know, 10 days, just thinking like all this shit. And then thinking like, even when you go get it dealt with, like that's going to be another bunch of days of like pain and recuperation. So I want to make this sandwich now, but oh man, just stressful times. So life is uh, kicking me in the ass a little bit these days. <laughs> so uh, trying to uh, figure out how to mitigate these things, but you know, you can't control the waves that come at you in your life. It just is what it is. I was gonna say, oh yeah. So I, he, I got put on another round cause he was like, yeah, it looks like it looks good, like in terms of it's draining on its own. 
but he's like, just to be certain, we'll put you on another seven days of antibiotics, which I'm currently like on day two of right now. And like I said, the pain is, you know, it's pretty much like a one or two consistently with periods of complete re relief, but it is, you know, it's still sensitive. So just as per food content and eating and stuff, I just have to be super careful and conscious of chewing on the, my left side constantly, but also just what it is that I'm eating. <laughs> so that being said, I was like thinking, you know, I've always wanted to do more, you know, those song breakdowns and just more like maybe some talking content. So maybe I'll mix in a bunch of talking content this month, I think is the plan. Just because I have always wanted to to uh, to do those videos. And now seems like the perfect time to do those videos because we're in the land of uh, needing to be chill with our with our mouth, <laughs> you know. All right, the sandwich is almost complete. I should have brought a knife to half it. Spaghetti sandwich. Who knew that they were actually very good. I was listening to, to the Two Bears, One Cave podcast and Burt Kreischer was saying how he went to M&M's to mom's spaghetti <laughs> and that they were, they have spaghetti sandwiches. And he's like, I had never heard of that. <laughs> but then I tried it and it blew my mind. However, I think it would be better on some garlic bread. But uh, a little light, half toast, half soft. Bread is also very good. So yeah, to any of those, those of you who have gone through this, feel for you. I know what uh, I know. What, I now know what it's like. And uh, I, like I said, I posted a picture on Instagram just when I was finally feeling better with like the hashtag, like wouldn't work, wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. And that's facts. I wouldn't I feel like I'd rather get waterboarded. The craziest thing too, is when you're in that much pain, you don't miss anything, food, anything. You're literally just like, all, you, all you're all you saying to yourself is like, how is this possible? And I need this to stop. Like you have no other considerations. It's just pure desperation. So that's my, uh, my update. I'm just praying to be honest that when I get in to see this guy, he'll, uh, he'll say that it's the simpler fix. Cause I don't want to have to have a multi-session root canal. 
and I also don't want to have to drop whatever that's going to cost either. Because I know that other option fix will be much cheaper. fantastic and I think it's pretty obvious uh, why after all that <laughs> so we'll see I'll have to get crafty with soft meals tender meals things that are you know just nothing crunchy and anything that you have to go even that sandwich like the the opening of the mouth like that Still a little tender, but even though you're going through this stuff, eat you still gotta, still gotta eat something. You know, you gotta eat something. So, anyways, that's my plight right now. <laughs> um, but we're moving forward. Things are gonna work themselves out accordingly, and uh, trying to remain positive in this life. Uh, <clears throat> I hope you're well. I hope you're, if you're going through it, try to keep your head up. And uh, till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, and stay true. Thanks for watching.